What you guys got another video here for you. In my last video, I showed you how to create a system image inside Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system, and then also I showed you how to restore that system image back. Okay. Now in this video, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to attach that image inside disk management and also extract files from that image right inside Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. So let's take a look here at our system image. We've got it on our computer here. Okay, now this could be on a network drive or it could be on an external drive. Uh, this one happens to be on the same system, but if it was on one of those, it's all going to be good. Okay, it doesn't matter where it is. You can, as long as you can locate it, we can attach it. Okay, now obviously inside here, we can't open it up as you can see um, when we open this up. Inside here, you can see it's all got permissions and right inside here you can see there's a bunch of stuff here we need to attach this to open it up to get all our files out of it okay and I'm going to show you how to do that inside disk management so first off what we're going to do here is go to disk management we can right click on the start button here and click on uh, disk management here like this this will open up our disk management now let me just make this a little bit bigger there we go so now we've got this open you can see here there is no uh, drive here but what we're going to do is attach it okay so we need to go to actions attach VHD click on that and then we need to go to browse and then locate our drive okay now you can see here we're in the right location we're in our E drive also Windows image backup uh, bench PC and backup that is our backup now you can see there's two images inside here we want the large image that is a uh, the one of our drive our C drive you can see here it's the 8.18 gigabytes in size yours may be bigger click on that and click open now you can see the path is been added in we're going to click OK and now it's attached that drive here okay that image onto there now if we look here there is no drive letter and sometimes it does allocate a drive letter but you can see there is no drive letter in this case and that's pretty easy to do so if we want to attach a drive letter we just right click on this and change uh, letters and paths click on that and now we can assign a drive letter okay so basically it's going to assign the following uh, drive letter if you want to change that you can do but we're just going to leave this as F click OK and now we've assigned a new drive letter to that image okay so now we can go to our uh, my computer or this PC going to explore right click on the start button go file explorer and now you can see here this is the F drive that we've just created inside here will be all the files inside that image and now we can pull out what files we want so if there was document files or pictures or or something like that you can come inside here and pull out what files you want okay and you can see here I can drag this out onto my desktop if I wish and it will be on my desktop and that's pulled straight out of the image there okay Okay, so now we want to detach our drive now and put this back to normal. As you can see here, there is the document that we pulled out, or the ISO file. So to detach it, we need to right-click and go File Explorer. Go to the drive where it's located here, as you can see. Right-click on that, and then we can now eject that, okay? And that will then eject the drive and detach it. And that's how you basically uh, attach an image uh, from a backup that you created and extract files from it, and also how to detach that image as well okay so i hope this one helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button it really does help me out also hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when i upload new videos and also if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or you want any questions you want to ask me you can head over to the forums the information is on the screen okay so thanks again have a great weekend bye for now